we are going to talk about the exploratory analysis uh, or exploratory data analysis uh, as it is called it's all very commonly used in data sciences so at the start of how to your data is behaving uh, the data is used click has some certain tools that can help you to accelerate those data analysis uh, for the, your exploration purposes so uh, histogram distribution plots or the box plot which is used to identify the outliers that are there in CLAC. So let's see how we can use that. So the first one to use is a histogram. So in the histogram we measure the frequency. So I will just add quantity over here. So there is a nice histogram, not a I have it. So I can you know this properties if you see there's just as it is then we have the option for the histogram settings that are very specific to this particular chart I'm going to move for the customize options so I can either change the number of bars I want to have let's say I want to have 10 bars so it's gonna automatically adjust those ranges or I want to have the want to tell it the bar width. So what will be the bar width? So let's say I just want to put it 20 and I can have the offset that you know how to move the values. Uh, you know uh, start with 10 or 20 or whatever. Okay, so then there is an option for the distinct count. So what distinct count means is that it will definitely have many values. Uh, if you go over here, so in between 0 and 20 there are 7.7 .7 thousand values around 8 thousand values but I want to see at times if you have higher ranges maybe for the statistical purpose you are interested how many distinct values are there so if I see there can be between 0 and 20 there can be 10 distinct values 20 distinct values but if I go over here so it's actually 90 so maybe there is one number is missing so you see uh, this is how we can have those distinct uh, use the distinct values uh, then in the appearance section we don't have much options apart from the grid line we can change the bar color uh, which is very static color not, dy not dynamic uh, we have all y-axis properties uh, that we can change and then we have the option to calling it other than frequency we can say number of occurrences so you know you can change it just make any fancy name for that so this is a histogram now then the second this is one of the most more powerful is the box plot this is not only helps in exploratory analysis but very very uh, strong and uh, handy tool when you are talking about the opportunities outliers so what how does does work is that I'm gonna add my favorite category domain here okay rather than doing that I'm going to add this time I'm going to add product so what it do is that it basically make a table first okay, let me draw it here and then I will show you what I mean so essentially it has created certain values so let me decode this particular one for you before I do that uh, so what it, it actually has done okay so it's showing us something differently so let me just make a chart uh, a table before in order to explain what's going on over here So I'm going to make a table, a straight table, using product and sales amount. So what's happening over here, it has essentially taken the sales amount so it has created this particular table on the fly and so plotted it over here so uh, my fault 
it should be a margin not a dimension so let's add it again and make it demo here this time some of them so you see we have against everything we have one value so it has actually done like that so if I come here on this plot the distribution plot chart so it has it is telling me what is my first quartile what is my uh, second quartile what is median so if you are familiar with the concept of the box plot and quartiles how it is used to determine the outliers uh, you can easily interpret that if you don't uh, just understand these are the statistical terms mathematical terms just explore what can what you can there are two three methods uh, in statistical analysis uh, to identify the outliers analysis so now let's come to that we have these options very simple properties nothing fancy about it but when we come to the box plot element so we have the options that there is a standard method this is also called 2k method so in this one we basically say that the quartile is basically it uh, uh, it takes the you know certain data sets the middle data set and the middle data set is essentially and then it's uh, try to apply some algorithms uh, the when very there is very very basic algorithms for that uh, i will not go into the details of those algorithms in this video but you can just explore that at your own so we say that if it is the outliers will be one quartile away or two quartile away so we can just you know um, define those ranges or there is a percentile based method that the word is in the first and the 99th percentile are not outlier you see now i have changed my outlier i can say no from fifth to 95th they you know the first starting one to five they're outliers and then 95 to 100 they're outliers and then there is another one so if i go over here by the way so if I just hover over here, so it will give me, you know, these different options that this is 19 percent, 19 percentile. This is what is my median, what is my first quartile and what is my 19. Okay, let me add another dimension over here to make the things interesting. So I can add another dimension over here, which essentially make me for each product category, it will make you a separate histogram, uh, separate chart for me and you know and coming to these properties so i have a third option that is a standard deviation method uh, which is also another method to you know uh, identify the outliers uh, there are different sigma we can say these are outliers this is not outliers so you see uh, the ranges have changed and if i just click over here so i can see in each how much average sale is going on what is one standard deviation what is second deviation how my data sets is uh, behaving okay so these uh, <clears throat> this was the box plot then there is another option in our chart options uh, that is the distribution plot so the distribution plot again it's kind of a uh, you know box plot type it try to identify not the outliers but how my data is uh, the difference between the distribution plot and let me just draw that first and then we can you know discuss that okay so let's just add sales amount as am here and product so you see it will make a this chart so it essentially says you know how my distribution frequency for each of these points that we have if I add a category over here so you see now I can see how my in this one it's just showing me the outlines or the dots the rest one is just you know the statistics here it's not showing the statistics it's just showing me the actual data points so i have to do that if i want to identify which is outlier or you know as compared to each other i have to do it manually and i can see what exact point is what does that mean here i can't see that i can just only see 
the averages and statistics uh, by the way this orientation thing is just a one click away you can just go over here and we have the option to make it horizontal and similarly we have the option in this one to make it horizontal uh, then we have the option uh, to you know make this background disappear uh, and if we just have the background so it essentially shows us the range for each and every side of category so just want to don't want to do that we will just want to keep this normal we can choose the customized coloring we have already up check that options and then there's some very basic options that we have discussed and seen in other areas as well we have the option for the bubble size how we want to have it we want to have the options of you know jittering those points rather than overlapping over each other so we can see have a better view that how many points are there then rather than because if we don't have this jitter you see it seems like you know we don't know exactly how many points are there unless until we have uh, move our mouse over here so if we have the jittering on so we have the better distribution kind of heat mapping for this so and the difference yeah uh, at times you will feel that this is not exactly how data science does yes that is fine data science normally goes point by point it do not aggregate the data at its own uh, and click it aggregates the data at its own but if you want to you know add those points so what you can do is you can have our id over here uh, in the dimension to make sure that you know uh, it plots each and every uh, thing so you can do that to make sure uh, this particular um, feature as comparable to the your exploratory analysis thank you very much